In today's tutorial, I want to show you a complete makeover in chalk paint with this dresser. I am going to walk you through all the supplies we're going to use for this tutorial, but I want to show you a few fun and easy effects you can do with Pearl Essence Glaze. Shellac is wonderful for stain blocker when you're doing a painted makeover. I do recommend that you use it in a ventilated area. So starting with Oxford Navy, what I'd like to do is I would like to paint all my drawer fronts with the Oxford Navy. Chalk paint is super thick, so I generally like to start with a moist paintbrush and have a water bottle on hand. This helps move your paint around as well as use a lot less paint. So I'm just painting with lots of random brush strokes and what I'd like to do is actually create some textures and I'm going to explain why this can be advantageous to having textures and show you why I wanted to implement that into this design. But I will go ahead and paint this with two full coats of the Oxford Navy and let them completely dry. Now I want to take all my drawers out. Let that first base coat dry. I want to move on to the frame of this dresser and I'd like to paint it with a nice contrast color. And I'm going to actually be using the Annie Salone's French linen and a nice, simple, thin, easy to hold chippy brush so I can get into the small little details of the frame. You can always add in a little wood filler to any of the broken veneer, or you could actually just remove that piece of veneer. But I actually wanted it for part of my design of where I wanted to go with this piece, and I'll show you why as we continue. Using the On Fleur color, which is like a chocolate brown, I'm going to go ahead and paint this tabletop as well as the legs and possibly that bottom lip with this chocolate brown uh, chalk paint. We are still going to fancy this up so we're definitely going to see what we'll do next and I will show you all the steps as we go. So here's a quick aerial of what I've got going on first and I'm, I'm really liking it. So I think we should move on to our drawers and as you can see here to the side I am trying to follow a sequence with where I'm putting the colors to match the sides, the top and the bottom. So here I'm going to go ahead and apply my second coat of the Oxford really rich beautiful navy color to the drawers and then what I want to do is actually laggate them together because we're going to do a really fun stencil project. Here's a quick tip when you're wearing these gloves and they stick to your hands. I wear these at work all the time. All you do is just blow a little bit of air in there, puff them up, <laughs> and this way you can slip them off so much easier when you're working and getting a little bit sweaty. So I don't want these drawers to shift as we get into the next step here, so I'm actually just going to laggate these together using a painter's tape from one end to the other, placing the drawers in the exact sequence that they would be in the dresser. And as you can see, I'm going to pull out some stencils and the Pearl Essence Glaze. A roller and I found a plastic lid, which is great because then I can use the roller on that. And what I want to do now is figure out where I'd like to place my stencils. And yeah, I would like to put the little bit of the glaze and we're going to play around a little bit and see what we come up with. So the sequence in which I decided to go with, with the stenciling is the biggest stencils I have, I want to place those down first. And where I'm going with this 
design is I actually want to make these stencils the most faded before I continue to the next portion of the stenciling. So I'm almost doing like a dry brush and I've started off with a little bit of that chocolate on fleur color and I'm actually using a little towel here just to give it a little wipe back and I'm actually going to give you a nice up close and for this stencil actually I do apologize I'm actually using French linen so I've mixed it up between French linen and on fleur for this dusted background and as you can see when I bring it up this is why I want that texture because for that dusty dusty dry brush look it really makes the texture pop and I absolutely love it so once I'm finished here let's take a close look at how this looks when we bring up the stencil with this dry brush faded kind of look for our biggest and back post of the stenciling voila I love it and let's see what the other one looks like sweet So one of the keys I'm doing with this particular design is I want to actually overlap some of these large stencils. And in this color, I'm actually using a Chateau Gray. And it's kind of a light gray with a bit of green in it. And again, I just want to finish my last um, large stencil. And again, these are the background stencils. And you'll see what I mean as we move uh, forward in the tutorial, why I keep referring them to the background. The dry brush is making a wonderful faded, nice and dusty background for our large stencils. So now what I want to do is use a medium sized stencil and here I want to figure out where I'd like to place them and start to overlap them. And I'm going to bring in some um, Obus and Blue and a nice stronger, more robust blue. And again, this is not the um, dry brushing. This is just straight. You're gonna basically pounce the paint on the stencil there. And you wanna make sure you don't put too much paint on your brush because it's pretty easy to slip underneath the stencil. So you don't need very much paint. Another beautiful effect with stenciling is not to paint the entire stencil, just kind of stab it and leave some open spots so it has a nice worn effect as well. So again, using those medium stencils, this recent color I've used is again the Chateau Grey. And there's no particular pattern I'm going by, but what I am trying to create is this three-dimensional kind of configurement onto the drawers and overlapping the drawers. And here, I've gone with the smaller stencils into the little corners and still kind of open spaces. And this is where we're gonna to start to throw some beautiful pearl essence glaze. So my roller was actually a little too big for these really small stencils. So I'm going to use a clean chippy brush here to apply my uh, pearl essence glaze on top. And it's important to wait for the coat underneath to dry first. And I am absolutely in love with the beautiful shimmery effect. So I'd like to show a bigger example of when you apply glaze directly over the chalk paint. Here's an end table I did in Antoinette pink. Once your chalk paint is completely dry, you can use a brush or roller to apply your pearlescent glaze. So going back to a couple of the other small stencils I have, and I'm going to use a clean uh, paintbrush for the pearlescent glaze, and I'm just going to give a couple more of the stencils the pearl glaze pop and it's just I'm absolutely loving this result so this is one great way you can use the glaze uh, for an accent finish so I'll place the drawers back in once I'm done the stencils and let's take a nice aerial and see how it's coming together and we can get to our next step so I absolutely love this, but I am not liking the brown on the top and the bottom. I thought 
it would work, but I think we're going to make a little change here. <laughs> so I really want to put more emphasis on the pearl. And I thought maybe by adding the pearl on with a stencil on the on fleur, but my gut's telling me I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to place the French linen on the tabletop and the legs. I'm really looking forward to showing you another key thing that you can do with the pearl essence glaze. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this tabletop and I'm also going to go ahead and paint that bottom uh, lip frame and the legs with the um, French linen. And I'm also going to show you another trick that we can do with the pearl essence glaze. So let's get started on to the next segment. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and seal this tabletop with the clear wax and then what I'd like to do is actually add some age to this piece but just in very very small details. So I'm going to add a little bit of the dark wax on top of this clear wax and pull it back a little bit just so we can leave a little bit of an age touch to it. Then I want to show you that you can do another really fun effect with the pearl essence glaze. So I'm going to go ahead and actually apply the dark wax all over the top so it goes into the low points of the paint. And then I'm going to pull some of it back by adding a little bit more clear wax just to pull some of the dark back off the high points of the paint. When using any of the waxes, it's really important to use a cheesecloth or a lint-free rag so that way you're not getting little particles into the wax and rubbing it in. The Pearl Essence Glaze is actually a sealer, so by using it purely on its own, you do not need to use wax. But because I wanted to use the wax and the dark wax for age, I decided to go ahead out of an experiment and apply just the Pearl Essence Glaze with this stencil onto the tabletop to see if it would work. Just side note, I don't recommend doing the wax on top of the Pearl Essence Glaze. The amazing fun thing about the Pearl Essence Glaze is you can apply it directly to unsealed paint. So once you've painted your piece, you can go ahead and put that on and it does actually seal your chalk paint project as well and leaves a beautiful shimmer. I decided to experiment and see if I could apply it to the hardware and it left such a beautiful, beautiful finish and a nice shimmery effect. So again, there's so many fun little things we can do with this Pearl Essence Glaze. I decided to go back to the tabletop and add these corners from my stencil. So I had to spread it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and complete these corners as well as I wanna show you guys some amazing, amazing pieces that um, uh, a friend of mine, just an absolute amazing artist. And I want you to check out some other inspirational things that you can do with uh, Pearl Essence Glaze. <music> So Daniel from Other Man's Treasures was so kind to let me share a few of his amazing examples of how Pearl Essence Glaze can make such a beautiful effect to your furniture projects. I definitely recommend checking out his work and I will leave the information and contact um, in the text box. So definitely check him out. Just He's a huge inspiration to me.
I wanted to share a little quick uh, fix with you. When I was doing my uh, corners here with the pearl essence glaze, I actually got, uh, I guess, a little anxious and I got a little tiny bit underneath the stencil. And what you can do if you get a little bloop, as you can see there with my finger, I just grabbed the clear wax and just gave it a little rub back and it took it right off. So I just wanted to share that quick fix with you if you're using this pearl essence glaze.